Welcome to the MicroMotion How-To Video Series. In this video, we will cover how to characterize and configure a MicroMotion Coriolis sensor and 4200 two-wire loop-powered transmitter using ProLink software. The learning objectives for this video are the following. Know how to connect a 4200 transmitter with ProLink. Understand how to characterize the meter. Know how to configure process measurement units. Understand how to configure the outputs. Know how to save and load the characterization and configuration. Understand how to download historical files. Know how to run smart meter verification. And understand how to configure the transmitter display. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the 4200 two-wire transmitter configuration and use manual. There are many ways to communicate with your transmitter. We will focus on using the ProLink configuration software with a 4200 transmitter in this video. For all configuration tools except the display, you must have an active connection to configure the transmitter. Connecting the 4200 transmitter with ProLink, we will need a MicroLink heart cable and connect from the laptop computer USB port to the heart terminals on the 4200 transmitter. Launch ProLink and select Connect to Physical Device. Then select Connect via Guided Connection Wizard. Drag and drop to create a connection between a device, converter, and available COM port. Select the 4200 transmitter and drag and drop the device to the USB heart signal converter you are using. Select the signal converter and drag and drop it to the PC COM port that is available. Click Next for further settings. Then click Connect. In non-hazardous areas, the factory use port can be used to connect with ProLink by removing the protective cover first and then using the MicroFlex RS-485 converter. Connect the black cable to the bottom pin and the red cable to the top pin. Drag and drop to create a connection between a device, converter, and available COM port. Select the 4200 transmitter and drag and drop the device to the USB RS-485 signal converter you are using. Select the signal converter and drag and drop it to the PC COM port that is available. Click Next for further settings. Then click Connect. Check the meter for any error conditions that require user action or that affect measurement accuracy. These conditions will be listed on the Alerts tab in ProLink. Characterizing the meter adjusts the meter electronics to match the unique traits of the sensor it is paired with. The characterization parameters describe the sensor's sensitivity to flow, density, and temperature. Depending on your sensor type, different parameters are required. Values for your sensor are provided by MicroMotion on the sensor tag or the calibration certificate. If your transmitter was ordered with a sensor, it was characterized at the factory. However, you should still verify the characterization parameters. First, record the following calibration and characterization parameters from the sensor tag or calibration sheet. K1, K2, D1, D2, FCF, DTC, or sometimes labeled as DT and FD. Second, using ProLink, select Device Tools, Calibration Data. Third, set the flow calibration factor, also known as FCF or flow cal factor. Be sure to include all decimal points and then click apply. Fourth, set the characterization parameters D1, D2, DT, K1, K2, and FD as necessary and apply changes for each parameter that has been changed. Configure the units for mass flow, volume flow, density, and temperature using the following procedures. For configuring mass and volume flow units, use ProLink and select Device Tools, Configuration, Process Measurement, Flow. For configuring density and temperature units, use ProLink and select Device Tools, Configuration, Process Measurement, and select Density or Temperature. The Process Measurement Units menu can also be accessed by using the search function by typing in Mass Flow Rate Unit 
volume flow rate unit, density unit, or temperature unit. Mass flow cutoff specifies the lowest mass flow rate that will be reported as measured. All mass flow rates below this cutoff will be reported as zero. The same definition can be used for volume flow cutoff. Flow cutoff works in both the forward and reverse direction. The mass flow cutoff should never be set to zero. Refer to your specific transmitter configuration and use manual for proper cutoff value. For configuring mass flow cutoff using ProLink, select Device Tools, Configuration, Process Measurement, Flow, and verify or change the mass flow cutoff as necessary. The milliamp output represents a process variable in proportion to a signal range of 4 to 20 milliamps. First, configure the milliamp output. Using ProLink, select Device Tools, Configuration, I.O. Outputs, Milliamp Output 1. For example, the milliamp source can be set as mass flow rate, volume rate, temperature, density, or drive gain. Second, configure the range for the milliamp output by selecting lower range value and upper range value. The milliamp configuration menu can also be accessed by using the search function by typing in MA output or using the Output's pull-down menu located at the top right of the ProLink screen. If Channel B is licensed, you will have the ability to configure the frequency output for the 4200 two-wire transmitter. Frequency Output Source specifies the process variable that is reported by the frequency output. Frequency Output Scaling defines the relationship between Frequency Output Source and the pulse of the Frequency Output. Scale the Frequency Output to provide the data in the form required by the device that is receiving the transmitter frequency. This can be completed using ProLink and selecting Device Tools, Configuration, I.O., Outputs, Frequency Output. The Frequency Output menu can also be accessed by using the Search function and typing Frequency or using the Output's pull-down menu located at the top right of the ProLink screen. Verify or change the following Frequency Output configuration, Source, Scaling Method, Frequency Factor, and Rate Factor. To save the current configuration as either a backup file or a replication file using ProLink, first select Device Tools, Configuration Transfer, Save Configuration. Second, choose what information you want to save. For example, if the user wants to save the configuration without the meter characterization information, uncheck the Characterization Information box. This step is necessary if the users want to transfer multiple configurations to other meters without overriding the sensor characterization information. Third, enter the name for this configuration file and save. To load the configuration using ProLink, select Device Tools, Configuration Transfer, Load Configuration. Select the file you want to load. The file will begin loading and report when file loading is complete. Using ProLink, select Device Tools, File Transfer, Download Historical Files. Check the Historian Data checkbox. Select the start date and time, number of hours, and the type of data resolution. Click on the Estimate button for the amount of time it will take to download the historical data selected. In order to download the service files such as the complete audit trail and alarm list, select Device Tools, File Transfer, Download Service Files. Then select the service files that you want to download by checking the box next to the name of the service file and then click on the Save button. If Smart Meter Verification is being run for the first time, the Configuration Wizard will prompt the user to set the field reference point. 
The process must be stable and the meter must be blocked in without flow present to capture the field reference point. Once the field reference point is captured, the user can run smart meter verification to check the health of the meter and ensure that it is working properly. Before running smart meter verification, make sure the meter is blocked in and without flow present. In order to run smart meter verification using ProLink, select Device Tools, Diagnostics, Meter Verification, Run Test. The Configuration Details section highlights any changes to the transmitter's configuration or sensor's zero since the last time a verification was run. Select Details for more information about any changes. Choose the state of the outputs, either Fix at Last Measured Value or Fix at Fault. Select Last Measured Value to maintain current process reading or select Fix at Fault if you want to have an alert sent to the control system. We will choose Fix at Last Measured Value for this demonstration. To run SMV with the 4200 transmitter, process measurement will be stopped and outputs will be held at last value for approximately 140 seconds and will ask the user if they want to proceed with a meter verification test. To start the verification process, select Start. Once the verification is complete, select Next in order to complete the verification process. If the user has the licensed version of SMV, they can review, save and print the verification report. The 4200 transmitter has an optional backlight feature. The backlight requires supply voltage at least 1 volt above what is required for operation. See the detailed information in the Configuration and Use Manual. To enable the backlight with ProLink, use the search function at the top right of the screen and type in General and then select the target link. Find the backlight status and select Enabled from the pull-down menu. The display language can be configured and the display can be rotated without having to physically remove the front cover or the display by selecting the amount of degrees of rotation. This concludes the how-to video of Coriolis meter characterization and configuration with the 4200 two-wire loop-powered transmitter. In summary, you should now know the following using ProLink software. Know how to connect a 4200 transmitter with ProLink. Understand how to characterize the meter. Know how to configure process measurement units. Understand how to configure the outputs. Know how to save and load the characterization and configuration. Understand how to download historical files. Know how to run smart meter verification. And understand how to configure the transmitter display. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the 4200 two-wire transmitter configuration and use manual, which can be found on www.emerson.com.